And well, all the very nice comments on it, and I've been a diver and a diving instructor for a number of years now, and uh, I uh, had a passion to have my own compressor to fill my own unit, but I never imagined that there was compressors like this in the early days, we're going back to about 1957, 58, when uh, I was still, you know, sort of toying with the idea of uh, having your own compressor unit going and pumping air for other divers and all that. And now what I'm doing here, Sean, I'm going to put this thing together a little bit and put a bit of current on it so we can crank her over. We're looking at a unit here that uh, uh, they were built to sell torpedoes. And a lot of people don't appreciate the fact that torpedoes, torpedoes are what won the war, really. They flattened all the Japanese boats throughout the Pacific from uh, Portland Road right through Honiara and New Guinea. Now we're what? going to crank over this machine that was built for filling torpedoes. And uh, unfortunately not many people even know these machines existed. Because I've, I've never found too many that say, yeah, I know that machine. I think everybody that was involved in assembling this machine, because the V8 here is Canadian, goes back to about the 1934 models. And uh, the compressor, I believe, is built in Germany. And having so many Germans here during World War, between World War I and World War II, uh, that uh, unit must have been exported to Australia from Germany and reassembled by Gibb and Miller of Port Adelaide. And I think Australia tried to take the credit for it, but unfortunately, I, I believe myself that Australia never had the technology of moulding this sort of machinery and putting it together. It's, it's actually a unit that, in my engineering mind, is, you could classify this as a masterpiece. So you've got an after cooler. You've got uh, there's uh, there's three uh, traps that trap, trap uh, condensation and any uh, oils that are in the air. And uh, you've got four filters here with four filling uh, taps. They can fill four torpedoes at a time. The after cooler cools the air and that radiator on the left hand side is what cools the after cooler and the actual compressor. This radiator on this side, on the right hand side, it cools the Ford V8 motor. So you've got it there in a nutshell, and what we're about to do now is give her a crank over. Can you hear that? Beautiful. Those two pilots, one of them was crying when he heard his running aim. That's quiet. Norm Laurie was his name, New Zealand Squadron. So when you bought this thing, it was still all tropical proofed and it was everything, eh? Everything was tropical proofed with uh, the grease paper and tar. So how many times do you reckon that this machine has been run since 1955? Oh, it'd be hard to answer, mate. Probably maybe 100 times. Not for long periods, though.
Station in Greece, yes. Greece trips. Pressure tanks. Yep. Only just, yes, yeah, very quiet. Well, listen to this. What sort of. When what? I idle it down to like this, 600 RPM, when I idle it down here, that, that uh, normal fire you have tears running down in the chest, day. I'll tell you if I ever What uh, horsepower is that V8, you know? Like a 318 or something? Or? Yeah, they're not a lot of horsepower. I think they're only about 80 horsepower. Really? Yeah, but that chest is really good horsepower. Okay, we'll let it air go now. You can hear that go. This, this is where I'm flying out. Just under the so, Bruno, before you do that, we'll just go over now that we can hear you. It's around 3,500 PSI is what they let the torpedoes go. That's it. And, so um, working, that's the working pressure and all the gauges. And as you've seen, everyone's just seen now that this thing is in full working order. Yeah. And that you believe there was 24 of these units made? This is number 23. I just want to show you 23, number 23. Okay. Here's the numbers. In the re 23 there, we might have put a bit of sandpaper over it. 23, 24 was the, the, the top, the last one. Can you read that at all? Yes, we can see that. 23B. So the Australians have tried to take credit for it by whacking the plate on, but as you believe, there's probably German engineering. I don't believe, you know, going back to 1930, I don't believe Unless they were German engineers in Port Adelaide, you know, before my time. Okay. Whoa! Well, that just blew the box I clean off. Lucky, <laughs> lucky with my brother-in-law. <laughs> he come past it as I opened up. <laughs> it blew his feet out. Blew his feet out from under. It's got some pressure. Tell you what, you'd blow your bloody dive tanks up if you weren't careful filling them. Okay, we'll clean it down. Yep, alright. Let's go down through shutdown. You want to go near the exhaust pipe and listen to it? Yeah, where are we? We're outside there. Okay. You listen to the original V8. This is just the, uh, the radiator on this side runs the V8, is that correct? That's right. And this one on this side is running the compressor unit. Right, eh? I need a new exhaust pipe, eh? Beautiful. I think I have the sound of it starting up. That's beautiful.
Yeah, yeah. Out of a thousand tanks only eight today, you reckon easy? Oh, within eight hours, no problem. Yeah. And what's the go with the control panel here? What's happening here? There's your well, throttle. The control panel's got a uh, red counter and your oil gauge and your temperature gauge and your generator. And uh, you know the only thing that works good is the original switch and uh, the choke broken because it's rot rutted out. But this is your throttle. It's, it's still original. All original. Well, it's, it's amazing. amazing. Okay, we'll take it out. Yes, mate. I was surprised myself when I turned up today. You invited me out to come and check it out. Yeah. And I was picturing something. Uh, I must say, probably just the size of this unit here when you were saying it was big, but this thing's a monster. And, and incredibly, these motors were still run positive to it. Unless anyone else can find another one of its kind, it is stands alone, it's unique, and it's certainly a collector's item. And, uh, mate, she has so much history here that uh, basically she's... Uh, it's an unbelievable piece of machinery. The unreal part about it, over so many years, there's no deterioration taking place. Uh, whoever, whoever built it to put that section together, I can only say, that, you know, they go to the, uh, up in the, in the category of master builders or master engineers. I think that might sum it up a bit, do 